Yo, what's happening, people? This is Chris from Hair Loss from Steroids, and I want to talk about um, along the lines of shampoo and if there are any hair loss shampoos that actually work, and specifically about one ingredient called ketoconazole. It might be ke pronounced ketoconazole. I'm not exactly sure. Okay, so you know, most people know that the hair loss industry is absolutely one of the biggest scam industries that ever existed and ever will exist. You can go on Amazon or really anywhere right now um, and find just, you know, 50, 100 shampoos that say they prevent hair loss and you don't know which one to pick and uh, it looks shady and you probably haven't had luck with it before just because, you're, you know, you're out searching for another one. So, I wanted to talk about shampoos that actually will work. And the shampoos that will work have ketoconazole in it. This ingredient is a clinically proven ingredient to stop the synthesis of DHT. And DHT is the main cause of hair loss. In easier terms, it stops hair loss by stopping DHT on your scalp topically. So, real quick, the two studies that um, you know were peer-reviewed, appeared in international journals, that is uh, academic resources, one was published in the Journal of Dermatology. And in this study, I'm looking at it right here, Belgian scientists found that ketoconazole, after a year's use, and or during the year's use, was just as effective as 2% minoxidil in the treatment of hair loss. And as they stated, in the long-term treatment of androgenic alopecia, which is male pattern baldness from DHT. So you might know minoxidil. This is actually a 5% minoxidil. It is all, I mean, it's approved by the FDA for hair loss. Not necessarily to inhibit DHT or anything, but it's, it's interesting. This thing has been out, minoxidil, since uh, the 90s, and they still really don't have a clear understanding of why it prevents hair loss. But it does, and this shampoo with ketoconazole does as well. The next study was a 2006 study, excuse me, 2005 study, published in the Journal of Dermatologists by Japanese um, medicine researchers here. And that study found that ketoconazole can actually stimulate hair growth. And that's not unlike Rogaine. Rogaine is more, or minoxidil is more of a hair stimulator than, you know, some sort of uh, anti-hormonal, um, anti-androgen for DHT. So again, it repeats the same findings and um, it actually arrived at the conclusion, the scientists say, that they're not sure why this was. But the ingredient is the only clinically proven ingredient to stop DHT topically when applied to your scalp. And both studies, you know, weren't done on the skin, they weren't done on lab rats, they were done in actual human beings like you and me, and, you know, proved effective. So that is the ingredient. There's nothing out there that I've seen before, and I keep up with a lot of this research, that prevents DHT, um, inhibits DHT topically and in shampoo. And there's too many of them out there, so I'm just going to tell you which ones uh, do. Region Pure is the one I recommend. Okay, this is pretty new. I use it. I'm going to tell you why I prefer this one to the others. Some of the others are Nizerol, and that is, it, it was the first shampoo that had ketoconazole. Now, Nizerol is an anti dandruff shampoo, an anti dermatitis shampoo. And um, a lot of guys in the bodybuilding community actually trying to prevent hair loss from steroids used it with pretty good success. The only problem, and this was for the majority of guys, that it would, it would, uh, gives like inflammation on their scalp, dry scalp, redness to their scalp, so they really couldn't use it every other day or every day without getting dry scalp. And that's a problem because your scalp health, even though it's not directly related to hair loss, it's never a good thing to have your scalp inflamed. Inflammation is somewhat related to hair loss because DHT is an anti is an inflammatory compound. So although Nizerol works for a lot of guys, they were disappointed that they couldn't use it every day. Now, and the third shampoo is Revita. That one's been around a little bit longer. It's pretty good. But let me tell you why I like Region Pure. And it's the same reason that um, I dislike Nizerol, even though it's, like, pretty good. Region Pure has aloe vera in it. And, you know, I'm not one for these, like, hippie shampoos or anything. But Revita and Nizerol have sodium lauryl sulfate. And that's a very cheap, inexpensive ingredient. And you might actually know this ingredient. It's in a lot of household cleaners, soaps, shampoos, a lot of stuff. Sodium lauryl sulfate. And that in itself is an inflammatory compound. So that likely has something to do with it. The other part is ketoconazole is a harsh ingredient, so you don't want other harsh ingredients around it. 
Now, because this is aloe vera and not SLS, sodium lauryl sulfate, it's perfect for using every day or every other day. And um, ideally, when you use the shampoo, you're going to jump in the shower, wet your hair, put it on your hair, and keep it on there for the duration of the shower, or you know, at least five, eight, ten minutes, but the duration of the shower. So if you're doing that with Nizoral in particular, um, it's gonna get inflamed because that's how you use this stuff. You have to keep it on your scalp, let it sink in and then wash it off you know, afterwards. So that's why I recommend Region Pure. There's a few other ingredients in Region Pure that also make it good. They have some B vitamins, uh, salt palmetto, which is an, an anti-androgen in itself. I'm not saying salt palmetto works. The reason this stuff works is ketoconazole. And um, you know, it's sulfate free and all that good stuff. So very mild, yet it doesn't, it does include an ingredient that is uh, a otherwise pretty harsh ingredient, but I've never had any dry scalp, never had any redness, no itching from this. I use it every day, at the very least every other day. And I also use minoxidil and some other stuff too that can uh, cause inflammation too. So it's, it's a non-issue with Region Pure. It's really, really good. And that is the one that I recommend to you. Let me check out my notes here, if I, see if I have any more things on the subject. Um, no, ketoconazole, the one clinically proven ingredient in shampoo that will help stop hair loss. Take care.